Hello, Dolly lovers. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Auntie Shauna, and I am here with Lakeland and Marie. And I went on ahead and changed her already, guys. I do apologize. I'm I'm feeling a little better, as you can hear it in my voice, but this migraine and this dizziness is not going anywhere. So, anyways, I am back here in the back room trying to finish rooting and painting Mr. Nicholas. It's not going so well. <laughs> It's hard to root when you're dizzy, and it's hard to paint nails when you're dizzy. And this migraine ain't helping either. But anyways, nevertheless, my little princess is wearing this cute little dress she got from her auntie. It is cheetah print, white with cheetah print on it. And then it has a hint of this purple color on the um, ruffles and sleeves. She has like little butterfly sleeves. And then I put her on a long sleeve onesie because it is a bit nippy back here. Um, for some reason, it always is cold back here in this room during the winter season. And then it's burning up during the summer seasons. Um, and my room is kind of warm. So that's why you see me put the kids on <clears throat> onesies. But that kind of what happens when people wash because my room is right next to the washroom. And when you hit the dryer... My room is on overload toasty. So, <laughs> for some reason, we've all had to wash at the same time, which never happens. So, the wash machine and dryer have been going nonstop, and my room is super toasty. So, when you move from a super toasty to a freezing room, yeah, it's different. So, anyways, I did put her on a long sleeve because we're down here, and then she, of course, she's got her little blanket. And then I put these cute socks on her. They are way too big because they're not her socks. Say, nope, me borrowed Miss Ivy socks because Miss Ivy socks look the best with this dress. Um, the purple matched the purple in the socks. And she has little cute bows on those. Y'all see the little cute bows? Super cute. Sorry about the lint flying around. But, you know, for some reason... <clears throat> It just decided to fly around when I came back here. Okay, so she has this cute little um, headband in her hair. And it has a knot on it. And it's white. Super cute. I like that little knotted headband. And then, of course, she's got Mr. Graysel. Y'all know she don't breathe or live or eat without Mr. Graysel. So, there he is. And I have a seven question tag to do started by Sweetheart Reborn Nursery. And I've seen it on um, Lynn from my Bella Blessings channel. So I will link both their videos in the description below. Make sure you go check them out. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs button. So the first question is, what is your favorite Reborn doll kit? Um, I don't really have a favorite per se. Uh, I love kits that have really nice full lips and those really pretty big wide eyes. Um, which is most kits because most babies' eyes are big because your eyes don't grow. Your body grows around your eyes, but your eyes don't grow. So, <clears throat> if the kit has really full lips or something like that. Um, well, no, I think, to be honest, my most favorite kit used to be the Cheyenne kit because the Cheyenne kit can be made into anything and still look adorable. I have seen that kit AA. I have seen that kit um, Caucasian. I have seen that kit Asian. I have seen that kit Mexican. Boy, girl, boy, girl. It's adorable either way. Um, And then... Then when I seen the Asra Awake kit, oh my gosh, that just debunked everything. Them lips, them eyes, that is my kit. But I also like the Asra Asleep kit. Unfortunately, when I came along in this community, the Asra Awake was no longer available. So <clears throat> I love seeing the Asra Awake kit on... Um, having you on with Yvonne. I love the Yazrael Awake kit. And the way he's painted, he's painted so adorable. I love him. So, <clears throat> he is one of my favorite kits. 
right along with the Cheyenne. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with my throat here. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> hopefully that's better. But um, let's see what else. The Cheyenne kit, the Azra kit. I like both Azra Awake and Asleep. But I prefer the Azra Awake because the eyes are really nice. But I do love the Azra Asleep. The Cheyenne kit. And I love the Gabby Gales. The um, Awake and the <clears throat> Sleeping Gabby Gale kit. I love those. So those would be my favorite favorites um i know it's a kit but i had a few <laughs> and actually i have more but those would be my top line like if i could get those oh my gosh well let me take that back because that deshawn by um oh my gosh i can't remember the um sculptor's name anyway it just came out i'm a matter of fact i got a picture of the um the one that I am absolutely in love with. Y'all don't judge me. Um, but I did take a screen. Was it a screenshot I took of her? Let me see. I think it was a screenshot I took of her. But I am absolutely in love with that kit. There it is. Right there. Right there. There she go. Oh my gosh. She looked like my baby, y'all. But honestly, she is almost $3,000. There is just no way... But I wish, oh my goodness, if I could afford her. Oh, look at the lips. She got the lips and eyes. Oh my goodness. Anyway, she's gorgeous. So that is one of my favorite kits too. But that recently came out. So it probably didn't even need to be added in with the rest of them. Oh, shucks. Now, what did I do with those questions, y'all? I lost the question. Oh, here they go. Okay, so question number two. Sorry, that took a lot to explain question number one. I don't know why I have to give a backstory, but I feel like y'all need a backstory on some of these. So question number one was what my favorite, what is your favorite reborn kit? That would be um, the Azrael Awake in the Sleep, the Cheyenne, and the Gabigail Twins, and of course that Deshaun kit. Why? And I didn't even find out the darn name. But I thought I had screenshotted the name, too, of the person who um who made that. Nope. See, that's I screenshotted the name of the person who painted her, uh, which is this lady here. Hold on. Let me see if it'll... Van Valesa? No, don't even get me the line. I don't even know the name of that, but... You see that right there? That's the person who painted her. She did an amazing job. Okay, so anyway, sorry guys. Let me get back to the questions. So question number two says, do you make plans before buying a doll or do you just buy as soon as you find a doll you like? I have to make plans because my budget does not allow me to just buy what I want to have. So, um, like when I got Miss Lakeland and Marie, she is my first reborn who started it all. I had to plan to get her because I just didn't have it. And thank God she was a budget baby. So she was in my price range. Um, other than that, I painted and rooted um, Maui and Chocolate Drop. Those dolls were given to me. They're just regular dolls that I reborn. And then, you know, I was blessed with four babies. So, um, when I want a baby, I have to plan to get it and do what I can because uh, my budget just is it's not friendly to me. So, unfortunately, I have to... Actually, it's probably fortunate that I have to plan to get them because I probably would be overwhelmed with a bunch because, I mean, there are so many kits and... So many artists out there that I want to want to paint these kits for me. So, yeah, I do have to plan and I probably stock my baby for several months before I purchase it, which is why um, I didn't get the first kit that I actually wanted. But anyways, yeah, I do um, plan 
um, before I buy a baby, which baby to get. Question number three says, do you enjoy boys or girls dolls the most? I have more girls than boys, but I love both. <clears throat> I love both boy and girl. Um, it's just a little funner to play or not to play to um, go buy for girls because you get the pretty frilly bows and, you know, the socks and the ruffles. And oh my gosh, who doesn't love ruffles? Who doesn't love bows? Who doesn't love sparklies and glitters and jewelry? And oh my goodness. Okay, so girls are absolutely fun, but I love boys too. I actually wanted a boy first, but like I said, I couldn't afford him and my budget wasn't nice and he eventually sold. And one of these days I pray to get him. I really do pray I can get him um, again or maybe find the artist who actually painted him and have her paint me one like that or similar. I know, you know, when you paint, you're never going to paint the same, but oh my gosh, he was so adorable. I do have his picture, but it's in... The tablet it's not my phone so uh, that was question number three question number four says who is your favorite reborn sculptor um i don't have a favorite reborn sculptor because each sculptor has something in a certain sculpt that i like um i might not necessarily like all the scopes of that one particular person but one of the sculpts have something in it or more, probably more, have something in it that I like about that kit that I wish I could take that from that kit and this from that kit and this from another kit, stick them all together and that would be my perfect reborn sculptor. But I like things and um, mostly all sculptors have something I like, either kit or how they did the lips or how they did the eyes. So I don't have one sculptor that I love more than the rest. Um, question number five says, do you stick with the same reborn artist or are you open to other artists? Now I do have two by Lorna Miller Sands, which is um, Destiny and um, Deshaun, which his name is Destin. I changed it. Um, Deshaun is his middle name. Those two are by Lorna Miller Sands. But I don't just have a particular um, person that I would constantly buy from. I have a lot of artists that I want babies from. And I have a list. And we're just not going to go over it. Because I don't know. I already went up to 12 minutes talking about the first couple of um, answers. <laughs> so I'll probably do that in my year video. My up to date year video. It's coming up soon, y'all. Can't wait. Hopefully, I'll be feeling a lot better. Um, question number six says, are you subscribed to my channel? If not, please subscribe and hit the like button. I am subscribed to your channel, and I already hit the like button. And the last question, which is question seven, says, would you like to be entered into a giveaway? And sure, I would love to be entered into a giveaway. Um, I think her giveaway is probably over, though. Um, that was in January. She came out with this tag. So it is probably over. If not, sure, go ahead and enter me in. I would love to be entered into a giveaway. Um, who doesn't love giveaways? I love giveaways. But I, don't, I do not enter into all giveaways. Um, I do like to know what you're giving away because sometimes I either have it already or I just don't have the space for it. But um, yes, please, please enter me into a giveaway. So that was quite fun, guys. Um, like I said, that was from um, Sweetheart Reborn Nursery. I will link her video in the comments below as well as Lynn from My Bella Blessings. I will link hers in there also. So if you ladies don't know, you ladies and gentlemen don't know or haven't seen them, head on over to their channels and give them a subscribe. And don't forget to thumbs up their video and this one too. Don't forget to thumbs this one up. Thank you. Um, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to those ladies. I'm telling you, they are a joy to watch. They are such sweethearts. Um, you will definitely not... Um, be disappointed if you start to watch their channels. So, um, 
let's see the other thing i have going on um is right now i am in the process of painting oops that didn't go very well my nicholas y'all there he is how adorable right he does have a lot of flaws too guys um i'm steadily working on trying to improve painting is it's fun it's a joy but i definitely um need help on my realism but anyways um he turned out a lot nicer than i thought um i did mess up his lips i'm so mad at that um because once you mess it up you literally have to strip it and sometimes you have to strip the whole thing and i already stripped his lips once excuse me and um it didn't work very well when i stripped it but um if you can see i have some pink that came up over the lip line yeah right there that is not the lip area that the pink is in on the top there. That is above the lip line, which I do have his line, his lips lined. Um, because, I don't know, it, it was hard to tell where his lips were. And I just kind of wanted to make them um, pop out. Um, because I kind of, I don't know, I, I messed up with the pink going up too far, so... I wanted his lips to stand out so I did line them um, it looks a little more realistic to me lined but <clears throat> like I said I'm still learning I'm not I'm not an artist yet <laughs> but I'll figure it out I'll get there um, his nails need to be tipped I tried to tip him the other day, but I wasn't feeling very well. And with this migraine and headache, with this migraine and dizziness, it was just really hard to do it with a toothpick. So I really liked the way these nails came out, though, because I had to wipe the white off because it didn't go very well. And it looks a lot more natural to me with the white on the nails like that. This, um hand and this foot came out really nice but the other hand and foot like it just well the hand anyway the foot's not too bad um came out really nice too but this hand here um did not it's and you can't see it because of course it's not showing you what i needed to show you but if you can see, this one here has a lot of white on it. The white would not come off. It was being so stubborn. I don't care what I tried to do. It would not come off. It didn't work the way the rest of the hands and the feet nails did. Like when I put the white on the tip and I just kind of run it off, a little bit of the white smeared like perfectly on the tips of the fingers. But... I didn't do it on that one so anyways I am yet a struggling soon to be reborn artist I'm struggling but I'm gonna get there so I'm not too upset about it he's still adorable to me huh Pooh? tell you too adorable to mommies so um in the midst of that I am actually still rooting um trying to get him finished so um he can go back to his mommy and um he's just like a bushel of hair over here so i'm trying to get him rooted and finished so he can go back to his mom once he's rooted and finished then i'll um finish tipping him off and once he's tipped off, I'm just going to put him together. Um, I'll root him another time. I'm not going to root him soon at all because I, I still I want to get Finian up and going. And then I want to go ahead and I've got two babies. I need to root their hair. 
I want to root their hair and get them up and going. Um, and then I think that's it. Then I can go back to rooting his hair. So, and I don't really know how long that's going to take because honestly, um, I'm sick at random times and sometimes I can, I can do it. And sometimes I literally be on the floor for days at a time. So, um, I don't know when this all will get done. So I'm hoping to get it done before the doll show. Because like I said, guys, <clears throat> that's why I don't know who I'm taking with me. Because I don't know if I'll have them done. Hopefully I will. And then I can choose, you know, from all of them and not have to wait. But I just really don't know who's going to go. Um, I know I don't want to take Chocolate Drop or Maui. Um, like I said before, I'm not ashamed of them. I just really don't want to take those two. Um, they were my earlier works. Uh, I am proud of them. And I may actually allow you guys to help me choose who goes. Um, but as far as I'm concerned right now, my mind is kind of set on the twins, taking the twins. But I'm not sure. Like I said, there will be some more babies that come into my collection um, with Nicholas and um, Finian. And then I have the other two that I just need to root and they'll be in my collection. So before I decide, which <laughs> I think I'm already set on the twins, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure. Depends on how the rest of them come out looking. But I'll probably let you guys help me choose anyway if I get that far. <laughs> Y'all just continue to pray for me and my health because I don't know. Some days I'm, I'm so up and some days I'm just really, really, really down. <laughs> so... Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go because I see that I done talked it up to 22 minutes and I done taped this like three times trying to get it down to 15. It's not working. So anyways, love you guys much. Um, let me turn y'all so y'all can see y'all niece one last time before. Oops. I don't know why that thing keeps doing that. Before um, I go, there she is looking so sweet. Just sleep as she want to be. Mama going to put her back in her bed. Because I am going to relax for the rest of the night. Or morning anyway. Try to relax for the rest of the morning. Because I have um, rooted quite a bit. And I'm just... Trying to focus and focus is not good when you're when you have a migraine and you're dizzy. So we're gonna relax for a little bit and then try to pick it up here again later. Um I definitely won't be going to sleep no time soon. I'm just wide awake. <laughs> so I'll probably give myself an hour or two to relax and see how I feel after that, and then come back and do some more rooting. At least rooting, because I definitely need to get him finished and get him back to his mama. All right, guys. Love y'all much. Um, don't forget to thumbs this video up. And check in the description below for Sweetheart Reborn's Nursery video. And also Lynn from my Bella Blessings video. Don't forget to pray one for another, guys. Love y'all. Be careful. Be aware of your surroundings. And have a blessed day. Okay? All right. Love y'all. Bye, Zs.